if Mark was to go back in time and, and meet Mark before, mm. what advice would you have for that Mark? Don't talk so much. <laughs> um, and I, you know, that's another one that's still, <laughs> that's a work in progress. Um, don't plan so much, actually. I, I think I'm a little bit of a maverick in this um, sense that I think it's, I think you can hugely over plan rehearsals. Uh, and I think a really useful skill is to learn to wing it. Um, and then learn that winging it isn't actually necessary uh, that there's more than more to it than winging it that actually um what over planning does is it stops you listening and stops you reacting in the moment uh and i think i probably didn't hear a note in that first rehearsal of a uh, hugely complicated pro uh, program of, of eight part choral music um because I'd planned it all, I'd got my mental ear tuned into what I was wanting to hear. Mm. Um, and the the freedom of just being able to go up to the podium and say, okay, here we go, one, two, just beat, beat the notes and listen is something that I didn't yet learn for many, many years. Don't do such complicated stuff. And somebody did tell me that. Um, find find the beauty in simplicity sometimes. Um, I think I think those are the biggies. There's probably other little things, but learning to hear and learning to listen are, are I think that's a lifetime's pursuit. Uh, you know, I think just even just in terms of I mean, I'm a big harmony person. I love chords. I love spotting stuff. And I did a um, uh, a jazz course at the City Lit um, going back 10, 12 years and you know by then I was I was a reasonable age by then and I thought I kind of knew harmony and and to have this new way of thinking about harmony uh, and and let me hear it in a new way and I think you you've got to work at being able to hear what's going on, you've got to work at, at really absorbing uh, and understanding the the, the 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 movement of parts and uh, the tuning and so forth. It doesn't it doesn't just come because you've you've had piano lessons for fifteen years. You know, it's a constant reinvention of of the way you you the way you focus your attention. I think, and you can't do you can't give that attention unless you stop talking and listen. Mark, that. I such great nuggets of wisdom, isn't it?